Hi guys, so about this potty training business, probably my number one most question is how do you potty train your girls? So a little disclaimer, I am not an expert. I don't claim to be an expert, uh, certainly not a professional, but I, what I do have to offer you is my own personal experience, which hopefully you can gain something from it. Um, I will tell you up front, this does not happen overnight. And I started with uh, the girls you know, when they were puppies. So, you know, if your dog's a little bit older, uh, you, you can still incorporate this and see how it works for you. But it's really good to start with puppies and just get that ingrained in them. Um, these dogs are very smart. Um, they learn very quickly. They know. And they seem to have memories like little elephants. They just don't forget. First and foremost, I would say consistency is key no matter what you choose to do you have to be consistent because uh, if you keep switching crap up you're just going to cause confusion for your animal um, you need to use like the same words the same method whatever you choose to do stick with it you know don't switch it up any time in the middle they will get it um, you know repetition 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 that's how I found that things work for my dogs. And you need to be very persistent with what you do. You just can't be in one day and out the next. I mean, you gotta decide you're gonna do this and, and you're gonna win. You know, you look at your dogs and say, you ain't the boss of me. Uh, you let them know who's boss and you uphold to your standard in that and you do not waver uh, because they will test you and they will try you and they will crap on your floor to see what you're going to do about it. So, I tell you Greyhounds, it doesn't take a lot with them. You don't have to beat them to death or nothing like that. They don't like to be in trouble. Um, you know, they don't like it when you're harsh with them. You know, I invested maybe, I would say maybe a good two years, really, before I felt like we really had a grasp on the whole potty training thing. They do still test me a little bit. Uh, mostly when it's really, really cold out, snow, rain, that sort of thing. You just need to reincorporate everything, you know, when winter comes along or spring comes along and um, just be persistent once again and, and don't give in to them because oh, these little guys are just smart, man. They just know how to work you if you let them. So in the beginning, um, when they were puppies, uh, I did I did start with Shimmer with indoor outdoor potty training, and then when Sparkle came along, I just decided to do completely away with indoor training and focus on outdoor. I didn't want there to be any confusion or for them to have an excuse to potty indoors, so we just completely did away with the indoor training. If you are in an apartment building or somewhere that you live where it's difficult to get outside, I would say focus on indoor training and just apply these same things uh, to indoor as you would outdoor. So number one, Italian Greyhounds, huge on treats. They love treats. They just love food. So they love praise. Um, so you really need to incorporate that. So when they were puppies, um, I would have to just watch them like hawks every second of every day when they were out and about. If I didn't have the time to invest in watching them, I would either confine them to a space or I would put them in their kennel. So if they were confined to a space and they pottied on the floor, I would just uh, take them to the potty. I would get stern with them uh, and just let them know I was not okay with that. They don't like to be in trouble, so I let them know I'm not happy with you. So I would just take them over to their potty spot and get them real close to it and say, no, bad dog, or, or whatever. Whatever you do, you need to use the same words, um, the same system, don't go switch it up in the middle. So repetition, repetition, repetition. Um, you need to pick like the whatever words you want for them to know to go potty. So like for my dogs, it is, you gotta go potty? You gotta go potty? Come on, let's go out and say go potty. You know, um, my dogs, that's what they know. You need to use the same words all the time so you don't add any confusion. Um, and then, so anyway, back to the potty on the floor. Um, I would just be very harsh with them and say, no, bad girl, or whatever. And then I would take them outside and just say, we potty outside, and I would put them out there and I'd kind of watch them through the window 
and see what they would do. Um, and then when I would see them potty, I'd be waiting for them for treats and I would like totally overdo the praise, like obnoxiously and say, oh my gosh, good girl, like, oh, good baby, oh, here's the treat or whatever, like obnoxiously overdo the, the praise. And I would make sure they had really yummy treats for them. So every time they pottied, I just give them a treat. So um, anyway, as we kind of outgrew the confinement uh, and that sort of thing, you know, you have to watch them like a hawk. If they're going to be out and about to roam wherever, you need to watch them. So you have to catch them in the act. That's probably the number one thing. Because if you don't catch them in the act, they don't know what they're in trouble for. So um, they also will give you signs. They kind of like do a little dance or do a little circle. They start sniffing. I mean, you can tell the signs when your dog has to go potty whether they if I don't know about boy dogs because I've never had boy dogs but if you have girl dogs you can tell they'll kind of go to squat or to poop or whatever uh, and as soon as they start to do that you scoop that dog up and say no and you head to the outside and you say you potty outside and you put them outside and you close the door uh, and wait till they go potty and so of course after they go potty you they come in and you'd be waiting for them with that praise and those trees and say, oh, good dog, good girl, go potty, good boy, go potty. You know, and just, just, it's okay to overdo the praise. Basically, that's, that's the repetition of, of it all. You just have to be consistent with that. So, um, okay, so what about the times you find poop on the floor and you didn't catch them in the act or pee on the floor and you catch them in the act? Well, um, I would just, well, here's the other thing is I have three dogs. So how do you know which dog did it? Part of that is knowing your dog. Um, part of that is knowing them so well of how they act and, um, kind of maybe either the other two just went out and you know, it wasn't them and one's acting a little weird. So you kind of can tell who did it even by their poop sometimes or even the pee spot, because Sparkle used to pee, and she just pee all over the place. It wasn't like this nice little consistent circle. It was just kind of splattered all over, so I knew it was her. Um, so, so let's just say like you have multiple dogs and you don't know which one it was. Well, unfortunately, if I didn't know or couldn't tell, everybody kind of got it. I'd be like, okay, who pottied on my floor? Who poopied on my floor? Bad dog. And I, they knew. They don't like to be in trouble. They know when they've done wrong. So I'd scoop them all up and say, okay, outside, bad dog, whatever. So that's, it's pretty simple. Consistency, um, persistence, you know, you're going to be tired. But you, if, if you want this to work, you have to press, pa you have to press past your emotions your tiredness or how you feel at the moment and you just need to um, decide that you're going to do this thing. And I promise if you put out the time and the effort and the patience, uh, it will pay off for you. Um, it's not going to help for you to be impatient and um, treat your dog badly because with Italian Greyhounds are too sensitive for that. Um, like. It, it will work against you, you know. They'll probably start peeing on your floor just to piss you off uh, if you start treating them badly. So, um, I, I, I will put them in the kennel if I've, if they've pottied on the floor, um, pooped or peed at, in the house, I will take everything out of their kennel and I will put them in there with nothing. Absolutely, you know, Italian Greyhounds are all into comfort, so you need to take their comfort away in a situation like that. They don't like to be uncomfortable, so I will put them in an empty kennel um, for five, ten minutes or whatever, and they absolutely hate that. I don't know, I don't know, uh, never really done a video like this uh, before, um, trying to explain, so I don't know if this helps you or not. So I would just, here's the other thing, is that each one of my dogs is so different. Um, they all tell me in a different way how they have to go potty. 
um, Sparkle. She will box me like a kangaroo to let me know that she has to go potty. Um, Speckle, she'll just go to the door and she'll just scratch all day. Like just scratch. It's kind of like she's knocking on the door. Somebody let me out. She just scratching. You can usually hear her through the house. Um, Shimmer on the other hand, oh that girl, she needs to learn how to talk because she'll just go sit by the back door. Like we're supposed to know she's just sitting there. Um, and then if nobody responds, she'll start kind of jumping up and down at the back door. She never, it's kind of up to us to know that she has to go potty. You have to know the signs that your dog is giving you um, and pay attention to that. So um, just kind of figure out how they're trying to talk to you and really pay attention to that. If any of you other um, IG owners have have information that could help anyone else that's worked for you feel free to leave it in the comment section I remember one time somebody said that they put a bell on their door I thought that was great you know great idea um, teach your dog how to ring the bell to go outside and go potty uh, that never really worked for us because I didn't incorporate it soon enough and we kind of already had our thing established so um, you really need to just find what works for you Again, the main things, repetition, 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 repetition. And if I didn't say it, repetition. That is what's gonna work for you, consistency. Don't switch it up in the middle. Same wording, I like, like, um, it's kinda like when you don't want your dog to do something. <clears throat> My main word, no, no, no. You know, I don't switch it up with other words. Same wording all the time for whatever it is that you're dealing with. So if they have to go potty, just say, you got to go outside go potty? No, you need to stay on them and ask them often, you know. I guess basically what you're teaching them is um, the potty means this is what we do. And you're helping to train them in that and just being cons consistent and persistent with that. So anyway, there's just a, a few tips for you. Repetition, consistency, and persistence. You can't expect it to happen overnight because it's not going to. Um, you know, you're going to invest at least, I would say, a good year into this. Um, every day you're going to have to just be on them. Um, don't ignore them. When I leave, I, I lock my dogs up in the kennel if I'm going to be gone for any length of time. Um, you know, and as soon as I get home, I let them out and I say, come on girls, let's go potty. And that's what we do, first thing. First thing when we get up in the morning, you get up, you get out, you go outside and go potty. Um, you know, I'll let them go potty before I leave. And then when I get home, first thing we do, get out of the kennel, go outside and go potty. Um, Last thing we do before we go to bed, go potty. Um, your other option is get a doggy door. I don't have a doggy door. So sometimes you just spend a lot of time letting your dog in and out to go potty. So anyway, um, you know, don't give in, don't give up. Put out the effort, um, put out the time. You know, you're gonna have to make a few sacrifices, but I promise you it will pay off in the end and eventually your dog will start coming to you, letting you know that they have to go outside and go potty. So, um, again, if you want to um, work with indoor potty training, just sort of apply these same, same things to that and see how it works for you. Um, so I cannot stress enough repetition, consistency, being persistent, letting them know that they are not the boss of you. You're the boss of them and you need to let them know that. So hopefully some of these tips work for you. I, I know how frustrating it can be, um, but just stick with it. And uh, I think it'll do well for you. And please, anybody else, um, feel free to share your own uh, tips in the comment section. So anyway, Thanks for watching, and I hope that you are able to gain something out of this to help make your potty training a little less stressful and bring you some more peace. So, okay, see you soon.